All right, y'all. So we finally got the time <laughs> that I was looking for. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. I've been trying to make this video for the longest, but uh, yeah, like I said, I was by myself now. I ain't got the trainer back of me, so I've been running, running, running. But with all that being said, we're gonna break down these numbers now. Um, I'm gonna try to put like a screenshot somewhere on the screen as I'm talking, but since I ain't got no laptop, I ain't got no computer, or nothing like that. It's kind of going to be hard to uh, kind of do it how I wanted to do it. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to finesse. So, just bear with me. I might, like, flash the check. Not flash the check, but I might flash the load on the screen and maybe do, like, a voiceover or something so y'all can get a picture. God, your father, man. All right, what's going on with y'all? So... Just a random tap in real quick. Um, so today's Monday. And um, y'all seen in the last video, that pretty much summed up my first week. Um, I was in Iowa, so that's when I almost ran out of gas, uh, locked myself out the truck and all that. Um, I made it from Iowa, went to uh, East St. Louis to the tank wash. From the tank wash, I got a little going to, well, from the tank wash in East, uh, st louis i got a load going to south dakota right told y'all that and then from south dakota um they had me sitting um and i dropped their load in south dakota on saturday and um saturday i want to say saturday at like one and they got me in and out i told you that's like the fattest that's like the fastest load up time i ever had like 45 minutes it gotta be a record right so after i get unloaded I hit up this dispatch. I'm like, yo, what um, what tank wash y'all want me to go to? What's the closest one? And they sent me to uh, what is it? I think it's Nebraska. It's a uh, it's a tank wash in Nebraska, I believe. It's either Nebraska or Iowa. They right next to each other. But um, I'm gonna just call it Nebraska. And basically, I sat there from Saturday until today. Today is Monday. Um. So Monday morning, I woke up. I didn't sleep at the tank wash because number one, and this is for new drivers, like I said, if you don't have no fridge, you don't have a, a microwave, air fryer, if you don't got no cooking supplies like me, I'm fresh out here, fresh face new. I don't have nothing in my truck, not even a TV. So when I park, when I'm headed somewhere, um, first thing I'm looking at is what's around there. Go on your maps, zoom in on like a 10 mile radius. That's like fair. 10 mile radius and see what they got around there it got to be an applebee's a langhorn something just so you know all right worst kind of worst because you're gonna be sitting all weekend at least you got a little vibe you grab a little drink or something watch the game the finals is on so for me like i said the uh tank watchers in nebraska so i pull in first thing i realized okay they're not opening up until monday i'm here on saturday afternoon so park the truck shut it down and um, first thing I do, like I said, I Google what's in the area. They didn't really have anything, but they did have some stuff. But it was like on the 10 mile radius. So they had like a Langhorn State, Longhorn Steakhouse, Appleby. So they had some good stuff. It just wasn't close. Now the kicker is they don't have Uber where I was. Um, the, Brad, the section I was in rather did not have Uber. Um, I think I waited for like an hour, just kept doing it over Uber and Lyft, Uber and Lyft, trying to get to the Langhorn um never came through but i learned my lesson from last time so if it's hard to get an uber going out it's probably gonna be hard getting uber coming back in so i googled uh what i do i googled within like a 20 mile radius mind you i'm gonna be here till monday so it's like i'm not tripping to go 20 miles 30 miles to be comfortable um so i googled like a 30 mile radius but they had around and i realized boom okay they got a casino and i know from being in Kansas City, where I am now, they usually have truck parking at casinos. Um, so I think the one I went to, I'm at a mayor store right now, but they had a um, something called like a horseshoe casino. And uh, pretty much parked there, and I was there for the whole weekend. They had like two, three restaurants in the joint. I caught the game, the Sixers game. Um, I got my vibe on, everything was chilling. So I said all that to say, when you first get out here, bro, you gotta kinda make the situation work for you. I'm not one of them bulls where I can just sit in the truck a day and a half, two days straight. It don't work for me. So 
I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out something. Cause uh, yeah, there's no way. But like I said, I gotta be in Aurora, uh, Missouri tomorrow. Um, but that load is not picking up until four. So once again, and I already, that was my first load I ever took. So I already know how they play. I'm not sitting in Aurora, Missouri for a whole day on that truck. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna stop two and a half hours outside of where I'm supposed to be picking up. I'm gonna go to the casino. I'm gonna try this Mexican spot over here. I'm gonna cool out, go back to the truck, wake up, uh, wake up early. I got the loves across the street. I'm gonna take a shower, get myself ready. Then I'm gonna head over there, which I'm gonna probably still have to wait anyway. But you know, I'm making the most of it, man. Definitely gotta make yourself comfortable so you don't burn yourself up. But that's just my advice. So I'm about to go ahead, grab me some grub. I'm gonna tap in with you. All right, rise and shine, man. About to get this day started. It's like 8.30. Um, I'm still in Kansas City. Um, I gotta go, what, I got like 180 something miles. So that's like three hours, three and a half hours to get to um, Aurora, Missouri. Now, like I said, I can't pick up to like between two and four. I'm gonna just assume it's gonna be four o'clock. Cause you know, they be playing in that joint. So ain't no rush, man. I'm gonna probably cruise. I might, uh, I'm gonna probably slide across this Loves. I'm at the casino. I'm gonna slide across the street to this love, take a shower and all that. Um, wash my face, you know, get myself right. And um, yeah, man, I'll see y'all when I get a little further down the road. You know it's real when it take you five minutes to park. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, the more you do it, the more, yo, I'm telling you, it was cake. Like, I ain't even really had to think too hard. And um, usually, I don't know if you ever had a situation where you try and park and you got a truck to the left, truck to the right, try and get by. I remember when I first got out here, that used to kind of make me freeze up because I know everybody's staring at me and whatnot, everybody waiting for me. But now, bro, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, I'm telling you. If you in TNT or you, I guess, on a pad, learning how to back, I'm telling you, the more you do it, bro, that, sh that stuff is cake. It's real cake, the more you do it. Once you realize, turn your, turn your wheel to the left, it's gonna take your truck to the right, and vice versa, turning your wheel to the right, gonna put you going to the left. And it's like, it's like a little art to do it. It's like riding a bike though. Once it click for you, it's going to just keep clicking. You're going to be good. So, but um, yeah, I'm at this Love's in Kansas City. Um, I just realized they got a McDonald's. Like I said, everybody know I don't really eat McDonald's lunch, but I will do their breakfast. So that killed two birds and one stone. I could fuel up, get something to eat, and take a shower all in the same, uh, all in the same motion. So I really ain't got to stop. I could do a straight run on Aurora. Like I said, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna still have to wait anyway, but it's all love. Um, I'm gonna probably get a head start up the Leipzig, maybe stop at like Illinois and then finish the rest of the trip. So I'm gonna tap in with y'all, man. Man, this joint pizzack. That's why I try to get out this joint early as possible. There be too much going on. And I'm mad because I gotta get in this line to get gas too. So I'm gonna be here for a minute, man. But it's all good. I feel good though, bro. I feel good, y'all. Um, I'm just tapping in with y'all, bro. I know what y'all really here for. I, I know the title of the video, so I know what y'all here for. We gonna break all that down. Um, first week's paycheck as a um lease operator and all that. So I know what y'all here for. All right, y'all. So another random tapping, right? I see why some of y'all drivers be on the side of the road and y'all trucks flipped over. You see, I ain't forget my key this time. This, this shit going everywhere. <laughs> but I be seeing why y'all trucks be all flipped over on the side of the road. Y'all looking all dumb. Because y'all don't know how to just slow down sometimes. Like, yeah, okay. You might have had just CDL five years, 10 years. All right, cool. You a veteran. That's cool. We know that. But that don't mean you can't slow down sometimes. Like, it's other rookie drivers on the road still trying to get the hang of this stuff. So where did this all start from, this little rant I'm going on, I guess? Bro, we in the construction zone, right? Now, mind you, I still slow down to like 55, even if the light not flashing, I'm gonna just slow down regardless. And um, I advise y'all to do the same thing, especially if you knew. But my thing is, we're in the construction zone. The lane is getting narrow, more narrow, the more we go. This dude comes flying, 
Poosh. And you know, um, if you've been out here for a while now, you know when a big truck kind of like just flies by you, it kind of pushes your truck to the side. And I'm fully loaded. So now he pushes me to win kind of blows my truck so i gotta kind of hold the steering wheel tight trying to just you know get my bearings together so i don't crash into none of these walls or whatever the case may be um my thing is bro just slow down like i just, i see why a lot of y'all be flipped over on the side of the road looking dumb because y'all just don't know how to slow down y'all be doing the most it's not even that deep bro it's not that deep bro but anyway um outside of that i am in missouri still headed up to st louis i'm about to stop at this kfc i ain't been to kfc in years though <laughs> So we're going to see what that's here for. Um, this video probably going to be a little more choppy because um, I just ain't been on my job with the videos lately. Um, so I remember I told y'all it's going to be a paycheck video. I might make two. I might just put two checks in one. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to tap in. All right, y'all. So we made it out here to Illinois. Uh, just dropped this trailer. Quick drop and hook John. So now I'm about to check and see if this trailer right here, they got three trailers out here. But um he said one of them, one out of the three should be empty, so I could be able to take it. So I'm about to check this out real quick. Alright, so we good on that. This joint empty. Uh let's get this trailer number real quick. Just for the pickup. MT9838. Alright, boom. So we taking this bad boy. Alright. But yeah, you can start unhooking these hoses. Wow. Wow. I don't know why these electrical lines always be so hard to take up. Do anybody else experience that problem? With them electrical lines, you gotta get a little husky with them. Or is that just me? All right. Put this trailer down. And you know what's funny though? For the longest time, I would think my trainer was crazy for going under there. And I'm like, yo, if that trailer fall, huh, you're done. <laughs> but, you know, it's not that deep. But yeah, man, it's uh, what, Saturday. No, it's Sunday, I'm tripping. This little really won't put a drop till Monday. Um. So my dispatcher, he told me that, yo, we could drop this joint on Sunday. So that's what we did. I don't know if I'm going to get to a tank wash today. Well, I probably can. I got like four hours left on my drive clock. So I should be able to get to it. But I don't know if they're going to get to me today. But I'm hoping by the time I wake up Monday, I mean, they already got a clean one there. And, you know. Rock out like that. All right, let's go through the procedures. Put that shit down. I'll hook the air hoses. Slide this bad boy on. Oh, this nigga getting a little husky. All right. All right, oh, yeah. so, so this first load, um, this is the so, load I took from pull out of here. Well, rural Missouri. So this is the first load I took coming out of the campus in All right, y'all, so we Missouri. finally got the time um, obviously coming out of that I was looking for. Um, so that load I'm not going to hold you. I've been trying to make this video Missouri. for the longest. And then I had to take that to Lepsic, Ohio. Yeah, like I said, I was by myself now. now. I ain't got the trainer miles, back at me, so I've been running, running, running. 690. Eight With all that being said, we're gonna break down these numbers now. Um, I'm gonna try to. So I picked it up that one day. Put like a screenshot um, somewhere on the screen the as I'm day. talking. Let's but go since Ohio, I ain't got no laptop, I ain't got no computer nothing like that. Tricky. It's kind of uh, okay, gonna be hard to. Uh, with my trainer, but the only time I had kind of do it how I wanted to do it. Like so um. Hours. This particular trip, I don't know, I'm a finesse, so just bear with me, I might like flash the check, not well, flash the like, check, but I might flash the load on the screen, hours, and like maybe do like a voiceover like, or something so y'all can like get a picture. For that one trip, so, I mean, $1,829.50 for the first load. Alright, so that second load I took was, um, I went to the tank wash in Lima, Ohio, <laughs> and um... After that, I got the tank washed 
and I had to pick up another load in Spencerville, Ohio, and I took that down to Spencer, Iowa. Um, so that was a total of 703 miles, um, and that total payout was $1,787.92, and that was sweet because that was just a pretty much a drop and hook. I did have to get loaded, a live loaded for the pickup, but um, that was another like kind of in and out situation, pull in, hop on the scale, they load me, and they loaded me in like 45 minutes, pull right back out, hop on the scale, get the heavyweight, and I was on my way. So, um, yeah, that was a pretty easy load. Not a lot of miles to me, but like I said, the payout was $1,787.92. All right, so now we come over here to the settlement section, and I don't know if y'all realize, I ain't mentioned it the first time, but if you actually look at the previous two slides when they show you the load info, you'll see that it says estimated load revenue. It doesn't say actual amount it just says estimated so as you can see right here when you get your settlement um they'll give you the actual amount so that first load i think i said it paid 1800 that lipstick ohio load well no that was the second load well no that first load lipstick ohio load that um that actually paid two thousand two hundred and fifty seven dollars and then that second load going to spencer ohio spencer ohio um, that paid $2,196. So that's one thing to look out for. When you look at your little info, they'll only have the estimated revenue. That's not going to be the exact amount. I mean, sometimes it will, it might be over a few dollars. Sometimes it might be over a few hundred dollars. So you could kind of count on it being more than what it's actually showing. So that's just a rule of thumb. Um, but then this next slide I'm going to skip to, I'm going to show y'all the actual amount that went into my bank account. And we'll talk about that a little bit. All right, so as y'all see right there, the total net amount, I'm not showing y'all gross, even though I probably should have showed y'all gross, but whatever. The total net amount that was deposited into my bank account um, was $2,731.93. Now, if you ask me, that's not bad. I never made that in one week doing nothing <laughs> ever in my life. Um, now, a few things about that. Um, so one, when I first took my truck out from Prime, it was on E. Um, I had to fill my tank up. And I believe that full tank lasted me majority of that week for those two loads. I think I had to make, maybe put like $200 extra in. But I do believe Prime spots you that first fill up. I heard different. My trainer told me though, uh, first fill up is free. Um, I, I seen a comment on YouTube saying they'll only pay for the first 25 gallons. Um, however, I didn't see them take any money out of my account, my settlement for the gas. Outside of the uh, two hundred dollars I had to put in once I got started, like the middle of the week. Another thing is they didn't take out any truck payment. Now my truck payment is about one thousand ninety-two dollars, um, but that got I guess deferred for this first week. I'm pretty sure y'all heard about that. If you're going lease, they defer your first truck payment. Now a couple things they did take out for is the abacus. Um, if you're going through them to do your taxes file your taxes if you use them to file your llc um so they will start to take out money for that um i signed up for i think it was like 20 no it was like 32 dollars a month so they took out that um and if you want them to file your llc i believe they charge 250 and they'll take out 50 dollars for that um i'm in tanker so the things we needed uh just like adapters um just a few things we needed to uh, do the job in Tanker, all your tools and everything. They'll take off for that. I believe it was like um, maybe $50 for that. Um, permits, things like that. But um, all in all, after those expenses that were taken out, it was came up to $2,731.93. Um, now minus, I guess if the truck payment was included, then obviously I might've been looking at closer to like um one thousand like sixteen hundred dollars so just keep that in mind but all's well that ends well first check two thousand seven hundred thirty one dollars ninety three cent um hopefully that's motivation for y'all it's motivation for me to keep going um now in the next video i will try to put this together a little better but this is my first time doing this type of video trying to you know screenshot you know show everything like that so Hopefully this next video will be a little more clear. I can show more like the deductions and how much gas I use for the week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Um, if I missed anything or 
next time I do a paycheck video, which will probably be the next video I'll do, I'll do another paycheck video for week two. Um, just let me know in the comments some stuff y'all want to know about maybe deductions or you know how many loads that I have to take or just anything y'all want to know about the pay. Uh, let me know. I ain't gonna hold nothing back. We all trying to get money out here together. So with that being said, I will holler at y'all in the next video. I'm out.